So what's up y'all back with boys here garage here with a video and today I'm going to be, treat, be treating some of my cowboy goose so uh stay tuned. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I Joe. Did I been for Cotton I Joe? I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I Joe. Okay, so mm, I actually uh, tried to do one of these one time by treating camel boots. I didn't have my snake skin boots at the time, but um, I decided to do it because I need, I need to treat them, and uh, I got some other boots I need to treat here too. So um, I got my box full of boot treatment stuff. So, so I'll show you some of the pair that I'm going to be treating. So let's go on with it. Okay. Oh, oh. So this pair of I'll treat first because these I ain't never treated and as you can see they're kind of dirty and need it. Um, and I don't wear these as often as, as these ones I got on right here. These I cannot treat because I don't have the right treatment stuff. So um, it's a little unfortunate but as you can see they're a little dirty and need to be cleaned and, and whatever needs to be treated. But uh, these are good. If I needed something like a dress boot, you know, go out eat or go somewhere fancy and and it's raining and I can't wear hard soles or snake skin, so so it's kind of a good like in between. But um oh I got several different types of treatment here. So this is for exotic leather, so I'll show you how it works. You know, with the snake skin ones, but this is for regular leather. Sometimes I use me cool, but um I'm out of me cool so okay so i'll use this pretty premium leather lotion you, you cannot use this on suede so if you use it on suede you'll mess it up so um okay so what i'm going to do is i'll treat one of them and then i'll show you uh, how to treat together so i'm gonna kind of wipe all this dust off of here first he's got some dust being piled up on him because i ain't one minute a little bit so okay wipe them down first okay you need to shake this well before you use it okay Yeah, but do you? So I'm gonna take this, kind of rub it onto the leather. Kind of, you know, wipe it in real good. And this is not supposed to darken the leather either, because a lot of times you put Miko on these, it'll kind of darken the leather of the boot. So it's the first time I've actually decided to actually treat these, believe it or not. See, it's actually starting to look real good. Now, sometimes I do the sole too, but this is rubber, so I don't usually do the sole if it's rubber. So, yeah, put a little bit more on here. Okay. Okay. So, this is the first time I've actually used this, because I usually use make all my other boots, but this is actually cleaning these up pretty good. It's actually starting to. It's not darkening in the leather up real bad either. I got a pair of work boots. I put a mickle on it and darkened it up the leather. 
I do the shafts too. And we have a shaft with multi colors. I'll show you that in just a minute. But, um, okay, let me set this. So here, I'll show you the comparison between each. And then you can see this boot looks a lot better than this one, as you can tell. They actually shined it up pretty good. <laughs> So um, I'm gonna take another rag here. This is water repellent, by the way, which I never use this, but I don't think I'm gonna use it yet. We haven't been to Stages West in Pigeon Forge where I got got uh, I got these boots at Stages West, which um I need to get some treatment for these so I can treat them, but kind of dry these off a little bit. Yeah, these are going good. Kind of tell the why I didn't get it right there, but. So, um, yeah, so it actually cleans up a lot better than I thought. You see, to really tell the difference versus cleaned versus not cleaned. So, um, I'll take a picture of these together and uh, show you the difference. Okay, so let's move on to the next pair of boots. Okay, so now we're gonna be treating my black cowboy boots. No, I haven't, no, it's been a while since I've worn these two. But, um, now these are, uh, yeah, you can see I did get the soles fixed on these. I got them, uh, re and everything, so now they look pretty good. But, um, yeah, these ones ain't as dusty either, because they're actually sitting in the bag, because when I, when I took them to get them fixed, the lady put them in the bag when she came back to me, so I keep them in there. Kind of have to keep the dust off of them, but, okay. I got me a, a thing here for brushes and stuff for, you know, polishing black shoes. Got several shoe polishes here. There's another leather lotion, which is just old. So it probably won't work as good as that other. I got a brush for black. And brown, this is for black. I use this one for brown. You can see this one's got black on it. So you want to keep different brushes for different color leathers because you don't want to mix them because that would make it look bad. I also got this here, leather cure. I got it for brown and I got it for black. Um, I gotta go get some more stuff. Um, I have a spray bottle somewhere. I'll be back. Yeah, so I'm back. I had to go find my spray bottle. I kind of forgot where I put it, but I found it. But if I remember, I think I have to. Kind of, the sprayer don't work good on this, so if they don't spray good. I'll have to take the lid off and dump some water onto my thing. But I like to spray some water on here, kind of clean it up a little bit. It's actually working a little better than I thought. I'm gonna take the rag here and kind of. Clean the leather off. You gotta wash any kind of dust or dirt off on the leather. Kind of get it nice and moist. Okay. Now I'm going to see. See which one's got red it. Some shoe polish, and you see it's kind of cracked up a little bit from where I, um, I've used it. But I'm gonna take a rag and some of the shoe polish here, put it on to the boot. polish on the boot okay. so since um, I got the shoe polish applied as you see I'm gonna take a brush and kind of brush over leather real good see it's starting to kind of make it shine some but I'll show you how to really make it shine here in a minute You can 
see it's starting to kind of make it pop. But um, what I also like to do is taking you another rag, spray some water on there. Okay, just drop some. Okay. Really go over it. This boot is than this one. I need to do the shaft too. I almost forgot about that. Me. Trying to shaft up pretty good too, as you can see the difference here. Like I said, how much more life we brought back in to this boot versus this one. So I'll take pictures and show you each boot side by side before and after treatment. Okay, I keep coat balls on the boots by the way to keep the shaft up straight. But, um, okay, now for the Tony Llamas. And um, as you can see, until these have been worn pretty good, but yeah, they still got a ton of miles on them. I gotta get the heels fixed. So heels are kind of expensive to fix, so that's why they're not fixed yet. But as you can see, definitely needed some treatment. So I'll show you. <sighs> okay, so since this one's you know, a mixed color, I'm gonna use you know, leather lotion and some black shoe polish on the shaft here since this is black okay this shoe polish is not sure what's in here okay so this is what okay I think this is for brown okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my water spray some water on here to clean the boot off real good Right again. Get the leather, get all the dust cleaned off. Okay. What I'm going to do is now take some shoe polish. use a different rag for, for this. So I use black on the other one. Okay.
black brush and do the shaft. I'll take the brush for the brown. It's unbelievable how much a little bit of treatment can really liven up the leather in your boots. And we're also going to take something to do around the trim here too, kind of help liven it up some. Okay. I need to give me some new rags. I need to get rags with some old shirts and stuff I don't wear anymore I use. But I got a different rag for my snakeskin boots and I'll show you why. Or show you here in a minute. So look how much life this was brought back into this boot compared to this one. Let me get here. How much shinier, and look at the, the sole there too, how much shinier it is than this one. This one's dull. But, um, you know, big, pretty night and day difference. A lot, real shiny, real nice. But, um, so I'll take pictures too, like I said. Okay, now, time for my snake skin boots. So, um, now these have a completely different way of treating them. I do not use any of this stuff, or do I use one of these wraps, because, you know, these have got black and brown sheet polish all over them. I don't want to get that on the snake skin. So, I might try to touch up the edge of those. I ain't touched the edge up yet. So, I might try to do that. Okay, maybe we'll... You know, was, you know, these receive the least amount of foot time as all my other boots, you know, because they're real nice. So, um, what you want to do is, like I said before, you know, the exotic boot care conditioner. <laughs> so you take, you want to get this damp too, because they have cloth. So, you, like, the, like the, the leather lotion, you take and shake this up real good. So, you don't need a whole big dump of it, you just need a little bit. So you take, and you want to go in the pattern of the scale. You don't want to go up against them because you'll tear the scales up. So, and be very gentle too. You don't want to be rough on them. Scale, so let me get a little bit more dab here. Just gotta figure out ways of doing it. Yeah, that's a lot better. Cause okay, now if you notice here, the scales go this way in this direction, but on the side here they go like right here. 
So you need to watch out because it's kind of pieced right here. You can see where it's sewed on. So you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. So. And they go down right here. And I treat these about every once a week. Since it's, you know, it's an exotic leather. Yeah. You can see you can this opposite direction here. Now, when I compare these, probably will make a huge difference, you know, because obviously you know, it hits an exotic leather and it, it ain't got, you know, wear and tear on them like some other ones. Because, like I said, they receive the least amount of foot time. But, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little bit of shoe polish and go around the sole right there. But be to be very careful, I'm not, I'm not going to get it on the snakeskin part. And these are pretty wide, too, so it should be a little bit easier. The both ones are a little bit more worn, so it's a little, the sole's a little thinner right there. This is brown, you want to use brown shoe polish, not black, so they run it. Okay. Okay, so. As you can see, not like a huge difference, but you can tell the sole is a little more lightened up, though. As you can see, but as you can tell, I mean, doing the top here didn't make that much of a difference. But, um, pretty cool, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, show you all a close-up of each boot before and after treatment, or sorry, sorry, I should, I'll put the, you know, the treated boot beside the untreated boot so I can show y'all the difference up close. So, um, y'all stay tuned for that. Okay, so here are the Justins. As you can see, you can really tell the difference between the, the treated boot here with the lotion and then versus the untreated one is the looks pretty rough. <laughs> so um okay, so now I'll show you the black ones. Okay, so you can see the difference here with the black ones. This is the other one that's been untouched. <laughs> this one that's been shined up and you can tell how much of a difference how much shinier this boot is compared to this boot. But um yeah, like I said, these ones don't get treated a whole lot because, like I said, I don't use a lot of it, a lot. These, uh, I do wear them for certain things, but, uh, it's been a little while. Now, these are good for funerals, so I gotta wear all black, but, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a black boot wearer, but still pretty, pretty nice. So, as you can tell, here is some... Um, uh, the treated boot, as you see, it's pretty shiny compared to this one's pretty dusty and dull. So you get it on the soles right there. Yeah, how much better this one is shined up compared to this here. And you see they're kind of broken. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, they still got a lot of miles on them though. And finally, the snakeskin boots. As you can see, 
not a like a big night and day difference. But um the soul you can tell it's uh you can tell it's treated. And unlike this one here, because you can kind of see where the soul hits the ground right there where compared to this one it it shined it up a lot better. But um like I said, not not any difference because these like I said receive uh, the least amount of foot time as the rest of my other boots. Since, you know, they're exotic, you know, they're real nice, and I don't want to wear them out. So, if you like this video and found it informative, you know, feel free to, to comment let me know about it. And, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the Backwoods Boys Garage. I'll see y'all next time.